I look old, the woman said. She moved her fingers to her earlobes, rubbed her tiny gold earrings, and then dropped her hands onto her lap. Her eyes searched the face reflected in the mirror on the mobile food tray angled across her hospital bed. She touched the purple bruise on the right side of her face and then used both hands to push her silver-white hair back from her cheeks. She moved closer to the mirror, ran her fingertips across the scratched and bloodied patch of skin on her cheek, and then explored her nose and lips. Dr. Allison Fremont studied the woman carefully. How old are you? she asked. The woman continued to stare into the mirror. I... I don't know, she stammered. She let her hair fall back onto her face. She leaned against the bed pillows and eyed Allison suspiciously. It's one more thing I don't know. She pulled the bed sheet toward her chin and tightened it across her chest. Allison reached over and gently squeezed the woman's right hand. I'm Dr. Fremont, a psychologist. I need to ask you some questions. The woman's eyes widened, and she pulled her hand away. She pushed back deeper into the pillows and tugged at the neck of her hospital gown. A psychologist? Do you think I'm crazy? No, no, Allison said softly. We just need to get some information for your file. I can't tell you much, the woman said. What can you tell me? Nothing. I can't remember anything about who I am or what happened to me. How were you injured? Allison asked and gestured toward the woman's face. The woman furrowed her brow. She closed and then opened her eyes with great effort. I don't know, she said in a puzzled voice. Was I in an accident? No, not an accident. I think you fell. Do you know where you are? The woman cleared her throat and took a deep breath. The nurse told me I'm at the Jordan Medical Center in Fort Lauderdale. I have no idea how I got here. Reaching back to adjust the pillows, she looked up at Allison and continued. I don't know why I'm here either. Allison pulled a chair to the woman's bedside and sat down. I don't have much information myself, but here's what I know, she said with a reassuring smile. I work mainly with children and do psychological evaluations for cases presented at the Justice Center. Justice Center? What's that? Allison paused and then explained. Juvenile services, testing, investigation, counseling, and evaluation. It's part of the court system in Fort Lauderdale. Court system? The woman paled, pushed herself up, and leaned forward. Her eyes widened. Her words rushed out before she could catch her breath. Am I in trouble with the law? Have I been arrested? Allison searched the woman's anguished face, then reached out and touched her hand. You were arrested. Arrested? For what? Shoplifting. Shoplifting? The woman frowned and then shook her head. I don't remember shoplifting. I don't remember being arrested. You stole some sandwiches, milk, candy, and diapers from a convenience store. Diapers? You mean baby diapers? Allison stared into the woman's eyes. Yes, baby diapers. Any idea what you were going to do with them? The woman turned her head toward the window where palm trees swayed against a bright blue sky. She rubbed both earlobes and worked the gold earrings with her fingertips. I don't know. Then with a deep sigh of resignation, she repeated, I really don't. Don't know. Touching the frightened woman's hand, Allison said, My guess is something bad has happened, which traumatized you, and that's why you can't remember. The woman closed her eyes, slumped back in the bed, and rolled her head from side to side. Tears seeped from under her eyelids. Her face went slack. Her breathing became uneven. <laughs>